Welcome to Project Guts. We're ready to start decoding or looking under the hood of the rabbits and grass model. First we need to start on the interface. The Edit Widgets button was used with the new widget button to create the clock, which is a data box, and the line graph. On the Edit Breeds button, the turtle breed's name was changed to rabbit, and the Edit Traits button was used to give the rabbit the trait of energy. And then the Edit Breeds was also used to add another breed, which was grass. Now that we know how it was set up on the interface, let's look down at the code and see what we can discover. On the World tab, you don't want to pay too much attention to how the graph was created at this point. We'll focus on that more later. But notice that in the Setup button, everyone is deleted, the terrain is cleared, and the graphs and clocks and data boxes are reset before we start creating any rabbits. Then 10 rabbits are created. Their shape, size, and color are set. They're given a random energy trait, and they're scattered around the world. The grass agents, 100 grass agents are created with a shape, color, and size, and they're also scattered around the world. There's nothing on the Everyone page. On the Grass page, notice that while Forever is toggled only calls a single procedure, which is the Sprout procedure. That's all the grass does. The Sprout procedure sets a frequency for how often the grass will sprout, gives it a random heading and a forward motion so that it appears to clump, and that's called the forever block. The rabbit page, you want to look a little more carefully at the forever toggled and see what order the procedures are called or executed. First is the hop, which makes the rabbits move with a random motion and lose energy while they're moving. Second is the Reproduce, which allows them to create one rabbit if their energy is high enough, immediately resets their energy lower, and gives the new rabbit a random amount of energy, a random heading, and has it hop away from the parent. Third in the Forever block is the Die procedure, which deletes the rabbit if its energy drops to zero. And finally, we need to look at the Collision block, since we are on the rabbit tab, the rabbit is going to collide with the grass. The grass or collide E will be deleted, and the rabbit will gain energy. Congratulations, you've now successfully decoded the rabbits and grass model.